Well, I didn't do it this year. I didn't reach 100,000 subscribers like I promised myself. Heck, I still haven't accomplished monetization on this channel. I didn't travel much. And I still don't have a boyfriend or anyone's love to claim. I didn't finish reading all the books. I didn't even start writing my own like I told myself I would. My body isn't like the photos I pinned on Pinterest. I'm still working a day job or two. I didn't get the upgraded and upscale apartment. On the outside, to strangers and maybe even to you, the viewer watching this, nothing about me has changed. But they're wrong. But you're wrong. As the new year approaches, we self-reflect on hits and misses. All of the opportunities and failures that visited us, plaguing ourselves with a whole lot of what ifs. I may not have reached 100,000 or even 10K, but over 800 more eyes are on this channel than I had the year before. I didn't lose all the weight, but I lost a whole lot of it. I'm feeling more confident and I'm finding new avenues to lead me to the state of beautiful. I didn't travel lavishly and luxuriously on first class flights to Paris or Milan. And I haven't been invited on brand deals or any fun excursions like that. But I spent hours on the road, learning and recognizing our country, realizing my love for Americana that has always been there since I was a little girl, because it's familiar to me. It reminds me of my childhood and growing up poor. It reminds me of men that smell like Marlboro Reds those are my people. Road trips and being on the road truly is where I feel the most at ease. As someone ridden with anxiety, finding yourself at ease is not easy. But when I'm on the road, I don't ever have to try. I don't ever have to be anything that I'm not. I get to just exist and be. I may not have acquired a vase to pour my love into this year, but I've learned over this summer what I need in a man. Not only physically, but what traits he would possess. How he would speak, how he would behave, what hobbies he would have. I've learned what I won't tolerate. This year has been the year of honoring myself through boundaries. Boundaries with friends, even boundaries on social media in my immediate family. Less is truly more, and more is overdone. While to you, things may see the same, I know they're not. I met my idol, Lana Del Rey. She embraced me, showed me love, read my poetry, and wrote me back. And she even followed me back on Instagram. And I finally met her. She signed one of my vinyl. Meeting her was a full circle moment. 19-year-old me would never believe current me if I told her that. I broke out of my shell in a multitude of ways. I speak freely. I've been on yachts. I've been to Catalina Island. I've been to the desert and back. I went to my first rodeo this year. I have unfollowed friends and acquaintances alike, and I never looked back. My relationship with God has been an unexpected but very much needed direction for me. I didn't get what I want this year, and that's fine. But please don't pity me for I have not failed. I didn't get what I want. I didn't get what was on my vision boards. But I got what I needed. And for once I finally learned something in a new year. I feel the most comfortable now. 
I'm confident in my writing. I'm confident that I am a creative. I may still suffer from imposter syndrome from the occasional time like anyone else, but I know that is not true. I know I am unique. I know I have a voice. I know people love me. I know I love myself. I know why I do the things that I do and why I'm doing them. I know when I need attention. I know when I'm feeling underlooked or overlooked. Ultimately, I know. I know everything about me. And while my bank account hasn't grown, while I haven't been engaged or found a beautiful love and romance that has swept me off my feet, but what I have accomplished this year is completely priceless. I finally met me.